Hey Divas, this is Anna coming to you with a video. Um, I, this is a mini. This is a Shabby Chic 4x4 mini. And it's a swap that I did with Elizabeth. She is Betty Bomb Bomb on YouTube. And um, I had left it open on my one of my videos that um, I wanted to do a 4x4 mini and to do a swap with somebody. And I just kind of left it out there. And she responded, how awesome is she? So right away, I finished this like two weeks early. Like I just, when we decided to do this, I had the mojo, so I went with it. Because I had to have other things I have lined up to do and another swap. So I want to make sure everything's done in on time. So um, I've done um, something semi-shabby chic, but this is about as shabby chic as I can get. I've been really loving um, shabby chic style. And um, so this is my take on it. Okay, here is, it's five pages, we decided, to, mine's just a little give or take on, um, a little, just a quarter of an inch, maybe bigger, this way, on, um, a four by four, so, and this was a die I have, I have a die that's to create minis, and it has three little holes on the side, okay, so anyways, this is a button cameo, these are some tea dyed flowers, this is a piece of applique that I have for my stash. This right here is a piece of vintage jewelry, broken jewelry. I had bought um, a little bag of vintage jewelry from um, Jennings 644. And all I did was put a little pearl in the middle. So that was the part that was broken on this piece. And this looks like it was onto something else. So it was there was another part that was broken, but that's what it was all about. It was shabby chic. So right here is um, the little wheat leaves and clear. This right here is a strip of that mesh bling. Then this right here is some trim. And then some lace right here that's double. It's one piece of lace, but it's, it has two pieces on it. And then I have some right here. These are some more... Um, they're flower petals, and I just folded them in half and put them behind, and they're also tea dyed. Then this right here, it says, Joy is the feeling of grinning on the inside. And I used the Country Stack from DCWV. Oh my gosh, I saw everybody get it, and finally my Michaels got it, so I run, ran to get it. I loved it. And then this is how the back looks. This is just seam binding, keeping them closed. I was going to hang stuff from it, but you're going to see right here that I put all the charms in the front. So this is where I hung the charms, the birdcage, and these are Tim Holtz little charms. These right, these charms right here I got from Creative Chloe, and um, so I decided to add those on here. That's when she had like a super awesome deal of a bunch of them, and I jumped on it and got like two stacks of them from her <laughs> back then. So, love it. Okay, and so I just put the hinge on here, and then it just is, um, you'll see in the back it's bound. Okay, here's the inside. Okay, and this right here I got from the um, expo that we had out here in Ontario. And then this is just ribbon, and this is some of that burlap in the back. And all I did was put hot glue gun strip all the way down, and then I just bunched up the ribbon. This right here is a little mini envelope, and I covered it with the um, the paper. This right here I got from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures, one of the cabbage flowers. A few blings, and this is the tag. And I used some stamps on the inside, and that's a button. I left it open so she could um, journal. I don't have really good journaling stamps. I need to work on getting some of those. But this is what I stamped on the inside, and that's the vintage button. Here's the next page. So I can do this with one hand. Here we go. Okay, and this right here is some trim that I got from um, a place out here. And um, so there's sequins in the middle, and this is all fiber on the sides. It's a stick pin that I made. This is um, a piece of... Um, Oh my gosh, the mold that I made. <laughs> and right here is a little fabric flower that I got from Kay. She had sent me a bunch of um, on a previous swap that we did. I have them right here. Thank you, Kay. 
And then this right here is a butterfly from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And I just put a bling in the middle. And then this is just a little tag. Excuse me, so sorry to have to do that online. Ah, okay. And this is a little tag punch that I have that creates these. So she can journal on the back. And this right here, it's an actual envelope. I bought those little coin envelopes where you buy at Staples, and I folded it in half. So this is one piece, and I just put the paper um, on the outside of them. And then I put some Wild Orchid Craft trim at the bottom. So um, these little tags go inside. Okay. And this one right here is just, um, I have these lifted on pop dots, and I just left them matted to put um, pictures on there. And this is just some um, seam binding. And then this right here, this little pearl thing, is something from Juliana from I Love Vintage Scrap. She showed a tutorial on how to use these. Um, these are actual little ribbon gliders. And, um, and you just put the bling in the metal, and it makes a perfect flower center. So I did that on this one. And then, let me move this up. Here we go. That's better. Okay, and then this one right here. I just used some um, pink colored type of jute. And I just wrap, wrapped it around the actual page. This right here is an actual vintage button. And it has a metal shank in the back. So it's not plastic. And I just tied the actual cording through the button. Okay. Then I used a piece of a doily. This right here is um, a little mini file folder. And what I did on here is I just ripped a bunch of pieces of um, vintage paper and I just ripped it up in kind of decoupage style on the outside and left everything kind of grungy looking. And then um, all the distressing that you're going to see on all the pages was all um, used using the Victorian Velvet by Tim Holtz. And then right here is some lace and another piece of lace and some more of that fi um, fabric flowers and some more of the mesh bling. So this is um, just a little file folder to put in the metal. That you can, oh, did I even open it? I don't think I did. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. And then it's matted in the middle for two little small size pictures or whatever she feels like putting in here. It's a super small one. I don't... You know, on these ones, you know, you kind of wonder, well, what are you really going to fit in there? But you know what? Some people have... I need to get one of those printers that actually prints um, super small photos. So then to the next page. It's right here. And that's another butterfly from Ooh La La. And then I just put an I Am Roses in the middle. And then... What I did, these are those little brown bags you get from Michaels, and I just used my script stamp on the top, and I used a postage vintage stamp on here, and I, and I kept it so it was kind of not as bright, you know, kind of faint in the back. And these are what I have inside of it. And that's the bling, these are the, the blings from Michaels, and then it's open in the back for journaling, and I finished off all the edges on both sides. Okay, let's get this back in the bag. Okay, this is tucked underneath this um, little jute, but it doesn't come up. This is in here for good. Okay, then this is the other side. And this is some beaded trim. This is some more of the Ooh La La trim um, lace that I got. This flower right here is from Joe. And, um... I squished the flower. Okay. From Paper Drama. She made these flowers and I bought them from her a, while, a lot earlier this year. And this I hear I just use a Martha Stewart um, corner punch. And then it's Velcro to keep closed. And then these are a couple more tags. All of these little tags that you're going to see that are in the craft paper, this are um, also part of Ooh La La. They sell a package of a bunch of tags and little mini envelopes in craft. So um, that's where, you, if you see these little craft style type tags or envelopes, that's where they came from. So here's another stamp that I have. And it's plain in the back for journaling. 
and then oops, and here's another one of a spool of thread and I just put little blings on the top and then that's that side this right here I left open and this one right here um, is for a light size photo it's open in the back I did not adhere the whole thing to the bottom so I left one nice size you know for a picture and then these are recollection leaves and this is a recollection flower and this right here is just um, um, some eyelet trim and I just wrapped it around and put this in the center okay this right here is another piece of applique that I put on top of a tea dyed um, little silk flower you get from the dollar store this right here is a multiple of trims um, these two right here are from Ooh La La, and then this right here is just for my stash. I couldn't even tell you where I got it. And then here's some skeleton leaves. This is also Velcroed closed. And this is how it looks on the inside. These right here are some more of those craft tags I told you. And these have been embossed. I did not do the embossing. This is the way it comes in the kit. It has little blings in the centers. And that just sits in the pocket. This also came from the same thing from this little stack and then I just stamped some um, butterflies in the same Victorian velvet and then this right here it's a graphic 45 um, stamp and it's like it's right here you're not going to see it in detail because I don't have really good zooming I guess you could say so it's really faint though I don't want nothing to be bright so and that goes inside here and some more of the trim from Wild Orchid Crafts Okay, and that closes there. And then, that's just my stamp on the back, and this is a spell binders. Oops, there it go. And that just says, Handmade by Anna Fias. And then I just put a little bling in the flower. Okay, so this is my mini for Elizabeth. And, um, whoops. Hope she loves it. I really, really had a blast making this. I mean, literally, I did it in one day. <laughs> so you like you know when you get the mojo you just got to go with it okay so this is what i create i'll be back with another video on something else that i had altered and thank you guys so much for stopping by and being awesome and for so many of you ladies that leave such positive sweet comments i always make sure to respond to all of you because it means the world to me and there's many times i've gotten comments in the middle of a really bad day and it just totally lifts my spirit so thank you so much every kind word just goes a long ways so thank you guys so much for stopping by and showing love as much as you guys do you guys are all awesome mucho hugs ladies see you soon bye